The moment it was announced that Mbarra has become a city, everything changed the following morning. I think you must have come passing Bharwe, the entrance. You can't buy land there now. With your small money, you must come with sacks of money to buy land. This COVID, it's been partly a blessing in this guys that people who had abandoned uh, their local, uh, their hometown ended up coming back. Lots of constructions. In July 2020, after the euphoria died down, residents of Mbarara City anticipated social services coming closer to them. However, with the 2021 general elections firmly behind us, it would seem that instead, politicians have been brought closer to the people. One and a half years after Mbarara City was inaugurated, land has appreciated in value. The construction industry is booming and business is generally good. However, the city is still being run like a municipality and this has caused frustration among the residents who were initially happy about getting a city. I expected uh, maybe access maybe to completely free water, completely free, but still uh, there's a certain charge that has stayed, 100, 200, that's what we have said. Try to see that city with job and what you have to do with business is very changing at Kola, Nela, Sigadenga, Chimab and Sibanji Musite, and Godezim Tezikoleba, Sinunji, Tuakakaka, Stio Manatoni Council, Kuzit Koleda. Concan to Rev Kanguati, Kareho, Avashuma will be the Barvinji, Concas the Kegman, Yizane, Yonjara, Avashuma, Guman Bajerachi, Bagman Bay, Yonjara, you went around stage into Vasakuza Kujirachi, Kujigan. As the last mayor of Mbara municipality, and now the mayor of Mbara city, Robert Mugabe Kachebezi, had hoped that the city would have the same budget and funding as Kampala Capital City Authority. We thought we are going to be given the cars for mayors, which are even bigger and uh, very nice and suiting the, uh, the, 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 the office, which we have not received. Actually, they told me that I was going to be getting 10 million per month. I calculated I started becoming rich even before I won the elections. But uh, to my surprise, when I came, I found I was getting only one point one million and one hundred shillings only. Richard Mugisha, the town clerk, admits that Mbarra City is being run as a municipality. The tenants that should make a city function properly are not in place. The, the, the structures, for example, the staff, we still have the, 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 the staff in reduced numbers those we had as a municipality. The city receives an annual budget of 60 billion shillings from government, most of it tied to conditional grants. This is the same amount of funding that Mbara municipality was receiving. The city center has a good road network with streetlights, which are courtesy of the Uganda support to Municipal Infrastructure Development Project, or USMID, phase two to Mbara municipality. The city does not have a road unit and neither does it have a compensation fund. So rehabilitating existing roads and opening up new ones is a challenge. The road unit, which would be composed of at least a grader, an excavator, like a, a dozer, a backhoe to enable us to install, uh, install culverts, so we don't have. These challenges would be history if local revenue collection was enhanced. While the city council projects that the city needs about 200 billion shillings every year to carry out developments, Peter Kanamjira, the city's senior planner, says only 4 billion shillings has been collected in local revenue in the last financial year. There was um, some suspension on, on parking fees, on taxis and buses. And this, is, this was our major revenue, collection, uh, revenue source. The revenue projection this financial year is at 9 billion shillings, but this target will not be met. When people put up buildings, they're supposed to pay property rate. But uh, the, the property rate, the, the var valuation processes, they are a bit costly and also procedural. 
So was creating Barra City a hurried political decision with almost no thought to urban development? I attended a certain meeting of South Division here. I found people, the actual councillors wanted to, to kill even the leaders, the town clerk and the mayor. You see, they are yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know what we are passing through. So we have all those challenges, but we are handling them. We first have uh, disorganized uh, growth centers, turn them into uh, recognized uh, towns, cities, and municipalities. Then we go and bring managers eh, for presiding over slums. In 2018, Mbarara municipality came up with a development plan which is yet to be revised. In a classic case of planning, coming after development has already occurred. Kachebezi wants to rebrand Mbarara city as a bamboo city by planting bamboo shoots along the city roads and in the outskirts. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.